Let's talk about what a poker vlog is, what it could be, and what I feel it should be. The original idea of a poker vlog is an individual recording his journey through a cash game or poker tournament. It should be natural, unscripted, and rudimentary. It should be a person with a camera phone and basic editing software. For me, all I used was my iPhone and the free iMovie app. I never had any classes or training in video production or editing. When you bring in $1,000 cameras, drones, and professional editing equipment, I feel that it takes away from the rawness and legitimacy of a poker vlog. Some have gone as far as hiring a film crew to follow them around and document everything with $10,000 cameras and full-time video editors. I've been feeling like, I've been feeling like, I've been feeling like. This goes against the vision of the intimate poker vlog. It should be you and your audience, one-on-one. -on -one. A poker vlog should be a one-man show. Of course, with expensive equipment, production crews, and professional editing, you'll get a more polished and visually pleasing product for the viewer. I feel that it takes away from the original vision, much like Bitcoin Cash trying to steal the market share from Bitcoin by lies and deception. I've never hired a single sock puppet. Some may say that I am mad because I don't want to pay thousands of dollars for drones and cameras. You may also call me lazy for only using iMovie on my phone to edit and upload my vlogs. You might think that I just don't want to learn how to use Final Cut Pro or Premiere to incorporate better editing. I have the money and ability to do these things, but I choose not to. Over 250 vlogs I've put out, and I still use my iPhone and iMovie editing software. I feel that way is the best way to keep it real. I don't use scripts or rarely write down hand histories. It is all from memory. When I bust a live tournament, I'm talking in my iPhone within 60 seconds to convey my emotions in the moment. I will never fake it till I make it. <coughs> Many have done the research as to what gets the most views or subscribers, and they have implemented that persona. That is the happy-go-lucky positive outlook at whatever happens. Be overly enthusiastic. Oh, five dollars cash. Oh, ten dollars cash. The best chest. And keep it exciting to captivate the viewer. After all, it is entertainment. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Yes, let's fucking go. Let's go. Boys, let's fucking go. Baby, let's fucking go. Holy shit. Let's fucking go, Anna. Many were turned off by my vlogs in the beginning due to my deep monotone voice. Many did not pick up or appreciate my dry humor. Today, I hear all the time that I'm the funniest poker vlogger. I don't try to be funny. That is just my personality and outlook on situations. 30 to 55 year old Asian male wasn't planned. But every day I hear people love how I put that situation out there and how true it is. I always try to keep my vlogs creative and never repetitive or redundant. I don't want the viewer to find the content mundane or the outcome predictable. Join me in re-watching my first vlog from almost two years ago while I provide some commentary on what I was thinking. Let's play a tournament at the Venetian. I started off with a visit to the ATM and showing the plethora of 20s needed to enter this $400 tournament at the Venetian a little driving scene to show the journey, and then the close-up talking to the camera, uh, destination and intention uh, sequence. As you can tell by the black bars on the side, I'm shooting this in world star hip hop <laughs> form because most uneducated uh, film viewers don't know that you gotta turn the, the phone landscape wise, not like this, you got to do it like this in order to get the best picture that's going to fit the YouTube uh, viewing screen. So I do the extremely fast time lapse of uh, walking through the Venetian, um, probably too fast, and uh, you know do the obligatory chip stack and put my face into the camera 
Not sure to what I was doing there. Uh, but you know, a picture of the chip stack and just figuring out how to use the iMovie app was the coolest thing to me, that it was so easy without reading any instructions and just kind of figuring out, you know, how to put scenes together, how to just tell a story by what you what you film. Uh, I think that was the part that really intrigued me because I really don't like um, reading instruction manuals. I like to just dig right into it and just, you know, have a go at it and try to figure stuff out myself. Of course, we have the bathroom selfie. Uh, got a lot of hate on that one, <laughs> but I thought it was just a, a good part to throw in the vlog. And of course, the up close forehead and eye uh, discussion about my chip stack and hand histories really um, made people not enjoy what I was doing. But it was raw, it was unplanned, and this is the first tournament I did it for. And it kind of gave me intention or a drive, a desire to do well, uh, because I'm documenting it. Kind of like someone was looking over me to make sure I did good and not mess up. Uh, of course, a lot of that's out of your hands in tournament poker, but uh, I, I think I made the best of the situation and it was a fun little side project to um, take away from the monotony of just random $400 tournament at the Venetian. A uh, nice chip porn pick, stack is growing, things are going well. A lot of 1K chips, nice towers. Uh, the Ken Burns effect I found on the iMovie where it, it, it shows the screen as it moves. Back to the super up close, one-on-one uh, -on -one pick of me. Uh, just discussing, you know, what, what happened in the day, how the chips went in, big hands, big laydowns, uh, big flips you gotta win. You know, maybe declaring my intention for how much I'm gonna bag up and uh, providing relevant info, you know, blind levels, how long till the end of the day to really take you along on the journey with me. Now we're going up and down, different Ken Burns, and wow, now we got a huge stack. Now we're really doing it. Uh, I know I, I still remember that tournament. I was battling with another pro. I uh, got him to fold jacks when I had kings in a real big pot. And now the drive home, uh, th this is pretty dangerous. I wouldn't recommend this. I added the police sirens in there. Um, and I'm actually holding the phone while I'm driving. I didn't have a mount on my dashboard, which I did later get for the iPhone, which I've now upgraded to the uh, little sticky mount for my GoPro 4, uh, which is the only equipment I've ever bought to try to make it a better viewing experience, mainly just for the, the drive of shame or the drive of inspiration to the uh, poker room. Here's the home game wrap up. I may or may not be sitting on my toilet right now as I tell you about this hand. No comment, but uh, it just felt right. It felt natural. It's probably midnight, I'm pumped up, and we're coming back for day two. So, first vlog is off to a great success. I think we're just before the money. And here's the drive to day two while trying to keep the iPhone balanced. And with the full uh, time-lapse feature on the iPhone only. I didn't know how to really speed stuff up with iMovie yet. And of course, there's the scene transitions where it's the gradual or the automatic. I'm using all gradual, like uh, slow sh shift, where you kind of see the remnants of the last scene as it goes to the next one. And right at the casino, I'm in the parking lot, trying to pump myself up, trying to do well, uh, considering it's my first vlog tournament. There's the bag I'm about to rip open and stack up. A lot of people are nervous coming to day twos. And, uh, you know, they don't want to bust right away. So I'm pretty sure I kept the pressure on early and really chipped up nicely uh, before the money bubble hit. Uh, a lot of things got to go right in a tournament in order to win. And everything was going right in this. And dealing with adversity is definitely one of the biggest things that can really make or break a tournament. The thing I have a problem with is, you know, I guess some tournaments you could just never win. You're gonna get aces, someone's gonna get kings, and they're gonna have you covered and you're just gonna lose. You're just never gonna fold that. Uh, you're gonna get set over set, you're gonna get flush over flush. You can just lose three flips, you can lose one flip. Unavoidable, or you just get blinded out. People say, oh, I'll, I'll just wait for premiums, I'll wait for good spots, guess what? Antes and blinds will just take your stack down to nothing 
under 10 blinds and you're forced to jam it in and pray. Now we've made the final table, really excited. Now pay jumps are a big thing, ICM matters. So you wanna be cognizant of the chip stacks. Uh, I still remember that dinner at the Venetian food court, chicken tikka masala. Too spicy, it was really burning my stomach when we came back with, I believe we were nine handed at that point. Uh, I made a real ballsy call. I three bet eights and then called a jam and I put him on ace king and he did have ace king and uh, my eights hold. So now we're uh, four handed. I'm tied with the other short stack and then there's two huge stacks, a huge chip disparity. Unfortunately, I bust to the other small stack and I think we get uh, $11,500. So all in all, turning 400 into 11,500 is great. I don't think I swapped any action, maybe 10%. Oh yeah, maybe 10% with Blake. But um, it was a great experience and it gave me real momentum to go on a sick, sick heater. Uh, if you wanna watch uh, all my numbered poker vlogs, one through say six, you'll see me play a lot of tournaments at the win, especially the 225 rebuy. Feel free to go through those and relive all those great memories and see the progression of my editing prowess and my overall um, feel for what it is to make a poker vlog. I always read all, every single comment. I tried to respond to as many as I could uh, and took uh, constructive criticism and uh, you know tried to make the vlog better every time without going too far. This is what real raw vlogging is all about you can do it too even if you don't want to put it on youtube you know you want to uh, show something to your uh, wife or husband or kids about your trip to the casino the progression of the night even if you're playing a cash game show the chip stacks varying you know sneak a little peek at the hands and you can put a little movie together for free if you have an iphone iMovie is already on there or you can download it for free and you just put all the scenes together boom 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 Add some music, you know, cut them down, make them longer, slow mo. It's not, it's not difficult at all. Don't be scared. You can do it too. Uh, doesn't have to be poker related. Document your adventure, and that way, it's a memory that you can that will last forever. So many people come up to me when I play live, or at the tables on ACR, saying, pretty much verbatim the same exact thing. Boski, love the vlog, and that means a lot to me. Thanks a lot for listening, guys. I'm glad you enjoy the free entertainment. Like, subscribe, alerts, and comment below. See you guys next time.